Hey folks, this is AJ, the CEO, and I want to take a quick second to give a shout out to Mike Furman. Hopefully I pronounced your name right. He actually sent me something saying, I thought the settings of the HDMI output could be changed to preview output. Um, then use the USB output for a live stream, or do you still need another HDMI program out? Now, this is in reference to the $100 8, um, HDMI multi-view. So the A10 Mini still does not have a multi-view output, meaning that you can see every single output that is on display and connected to the ATEM right here. So there is no way to do that right now, but I am glad to say that I was wrong in this, that yes, the preview, the HDMI output and the USB output are actually independent. I was wrong on that. And again, thank you, Mike, for pointing that out. Uh, when I went to test it, I don't know what it was, how I missed this, but I did, and I'm thank you for um, calling me out on that. But right now, what I'm doing right now is I'm recording on both systems right now. I'm recording on my main system right now, which is over USB, but then I'm also recording on my main live streaming system, which is using HDMI out. So right now, I'm on my main shot right now, but on the other system is actually preview. So I'm gonna superimpose this in post, but I'm gonna include this just so you can see it. Let me zoom back so y'all can see. So right here is what is in program right now. As you can see, that's my number one right here. But you see number two, which is that camera, is on preview, which is out right here. So you're able to see both. Now, this, I guess the thought behind this is that, hey, in this type, this isn't meant to be a full-blown type of um, switcher like you would put like in a like when you have multiple, multiple cameras of systems and stuff like that, kind of like similar to what I've installed at my church where we have over six cameras. Um, obviously, this wouldn't be this. This is like a beginner that you would want to step into, which, again, is still powerful, still satisfies what you need to do. But I guess, and again, I'm not black magic. I'm assuming that the thought behind this is whoever's doing this, and this was kind of in my initial reaction as well, too, is that you would have direct access to all of these cameras so that there's no reason to have a multi-view. That's what I'm assuming is the reason. But I'm guessing that now that you can split this, HDMI can go to something else and USB is something else, that you can at least have a preview so you can see where you're going to next. Um, I mean, the workflow would obviously have to change, but I think that does satisfy this. But again, there still is no way to do multiple, all four inputs at the exact same time to show that. So again, this was a really short video. I just wanted to thank Mike for pointing that out to me. And again, yes, you can set the HDMI out to a preview setting so that another monitor can actually see what you're going to go to. But then you also have... The only problem I would say with that, now that I think about it, is, yeah, you can see the preview, but you can't see the program. Unless, like, what I have right now, what I just showed you, is I have OBS right here, or vMix or whatever program you want to use that you're streaming with. You can see what the output is, but then you still need another monitor to see what you're going to be switching to. So it, it, the whole thing is, the system is great. <laughs> A10 Mini is great. You just have to realize that your workflow might have to change. So I guess a lot of the people who are in the comments and talking about this, they're, they're of the mind of they've used this before, used a switcher in some type of way where they have a multi-view. That's the reason why so many people are looking for a solution for the multi-view because they're used to that. Now, if you're stepping into this and you haven't done this at all, then I think this would be a great option. Now, while he's while I already addressed the mic stuff, let me go ahead and um, mention this as well because I've had a lot of people ask me this, is can you get the multi-view in OBS? The answer is no. 
and yes. <laughs> um, what you would need to do to get this to work in OBS is OBS, the computer running OBS would have to have four different type of inputs so that you're still splitting the signal and they're going into OBS. But honestly, at that point, if you're doing that, you might as well just run everything in OBS. So like if you use the DeckLink quad HDMI input, you can use that and have four lines coming in and then you can control all of that and have a multi-view in OBS because the multi-view in OBS is actually for every scene, not for every input, every scene. So you can have four scenes and then have um, the cameras in that and then you'll be able to see it. But it will not be the exact same thing as the um, the deck link preview or I mean excuse me the ATEM mini preview or that multi view that we were talking about before it's just going to show you all of the scenes in OBS but again even if you did connect it that way at that point it's pointless to actually I'm, I feel it's pointless for you to have the ATEM mini at that point if you already have a capture card inside of your computer that can take in four individual inputs you can literally do the exact same thing with the ATEM mini with that card and a stream deck so um, I think that's about it thank y'all for all the comments thank you for the corrections hey at this point we're all trying to learn something new at no point in time do I want to come off like I know everything because I'm constantly studying other people and learning at the same time. That's how we always get better. So again, thank y'all so much. Um, if you like this type of content, I appreciate a like. Consider subscribing and hit that bell the way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. This is AJ. We will see you on the next video. Later.